So welcome back to part two of our little mini forge build. Our vermiculite bricks have cured for probably four to five weeks now and I think we're ready to go. Shout out to Gamaco NZ for getting us this awesome forge burner and the plan is to drill a hole through our vermiculite fire brick um, but this would just fall through. So what we're going to do is drill a hole through and we will use a steel plate and we're going to drill a hole through the steel plate and the end of the burner will come off and it will probably sit somewhere around this depth I'm thinking um, and we'll tack weld it onto the steel plate. That will give us a bit of flexibility, we can always undo that. Um, really it's just a bit of experiment to start off with. So. The bricks, we're not actually going to set in place. We're just going to leave them, they'll just pile up on top of each other like this. Got a few spares just in case. And um, I think, yeah, we're ready for a, for a practice. As you can see, just a, a few little tack welds on, just clean them up a little bit. You know, it's not all the way around, but it's holding this in really strong, uh, really well. And um, we've drilled our hole in the top of our kind of roof of our kiln, if you like, and that just fits in perfectly. So here's the finished forge, uh, just ready to have a test burn with our vermiculite kind of. Uh, fire bricks if you like, our welded plate with our nozzle, our burner nozzle in here and uh, I think that's looking really good. The burner nozzle is flush with the top brick of the forge which is going to give us a really good burn inside. So can't wait to show you the results and see how it goes. As always uh, any comments Really like to hear your comments on uh, on these little project builds. Give it a thumbs up if you uh, like this concept, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.